Hey City Church kids, we are super excited to have church with you today. I know that you can't see me right now, it's because I am on safari. We are in the dark and we're trying to spot animals. But I have these really cool night vision goggles. They allow me to see in the dark. Without them, I wouldn't be able to see all of the amazing animals with my own eyes. They are super cool. Let's check them out. Okay, here we go. Let's see what animals we can find on safari with these night vision goggles. Oh, hey, look. I can see two cheetahs in the bushes over there. Check them out. Oh, wow, that's scary. There's a lion staring right at us in the bushes. We better get a move on. It looks like it's ready to pounce. Let's go and see what other animals we can find. Wow, check that out. That's two bears fighting. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Wow, check that out. Now, we look a lot closer than we actually are. I've zoomed right in. Check out that crocodile's mouth and teeth. They're massive. Oh, wow, look, more lions. And they look hungry. I think it's time for us to get out of here and go back to the studio. Wow, what a great safari. These night vision goggles are amazing. And it made it possible for me to see something that I wouldn't normally be able to see in the dark. So I have a question for you. And I wonder... Can you think of anything else that helps us to see things that we wouldn't normally be able to by ourselves? Let me show you something that is really cool. Have you ever seen one of these before? They're called x-rays taken by an x-ray machine. They're pretty cool because they allow us to see inside our body. Look, you can see all the bones. Check this x-ray out. Can you work out which part of the body it shows the bones of? That's right, it's the legs and it shows the knees and the kneecaps. Can you guess the last one? That's right, it's an x-ray of two hands. You can see all the bones of the fingers. Great job. What's great about an x-ray machine is that it helps us to see things that we would never be able to on our own with our normal eyes. This reminds me of today's service brought to you by Open Life Church. We're going to learn about a really amazing story where Gehazi's eyes were being opened. Now, we're not talking about our physical eyes. We're talking about our spiritual eyes. Now we can't wait for you to see and hear more. So watch out for today's memory verse and make sure you stand up, find space, dance and jump around as we worship together. So let's get this show started. Watch the screens and enjoy. Hey families, I'm Katie and I'm so happy to have church with you right now. I wish I had a superhero seeing power. You know, like looking through walls or being able to see invisible stuff. If you had a superhero seeing power, what do you think you would see? <laughs> oh, that stuff sounds cool. Now, let's learn our point together. Every day, I can trust Jesus. Now say it with me. Come on. Every day, I can trust Jesus. Great. Now it's time for our everyday song that talks about that. Stand up and sing and dance along with me. I 
You're joining us today. Today we're talking about the story of Gehazi's eyes being opened. Gehazi was kind of freaking out when he and Elisha were surrounded by an enemy army. But Elisha prayed that the Lord would open his eyes, and when he did that, Gehazi saw a much larger army of angels surrounding their enemy. After that, Gehazi wasn't so worried anymore. Many of us need our eyes opened as well. Not our physical eyes, but our spiritual eyes. And when the eyes of our hearts are opened, it allows our trust in Jesus to grow more and more. And that's why today we are saying, every day I can trust Jesus. We're going to start things off by singing a song together. So let's go ahead, stand up, sing this out with us as loud as you can.
Thank you for singing along with us, and now we're going to take some time to watch a Bible story together. Like I said earlier, today's story is about Gehazi's eyes being opened, so let's check it out. A long time ago, the king of Aram chose a spot for the Israelites to fall into his trap. The ambush was a secret. The Israelites couldn't find it on a map. A holy man learned of the king of Aram's plot. I must tell my king, he quickly thought. This man was no ordinary Israelite. His name was Elisha the prophet. His gift was very special. Not even kings could top it. Elisha was a messenger of God and could tell others what God said. He could even warn leaders before evil plans had a chance to spread. Elisha told the king of Israel, Watch out! King Aram has set up a trap for your army in this place. It's an ambush you do not want to face. The king of Israel warned his army not to visit that place. But the king of Aram found out and was furious. How could the Israelites find out? King Aram was very curious. The king of Aram called his officers and asked, Which one of you gave our secret away to the king of Israel? Tell me fast. Sir, Elisha was the one who told of our secret plan. He must not be any ordinary man. The king of Aram sent horses and chariots to surround Elisha's town. He planned to stage a violent showdown. Elisha's servant saw the horses and chariots and was worried. But Elisha replied in a hurry. Don't worry. There's no need to hide. We have God's angels on our side. 
And because God loves and favors us so, we can be confident we are safe. This I know. God, open my servant's eyes and let him see so he knows that he's safe with God and believes me. The scene was incredible. The servant was amazed. God's protection was visible. The servant knew to give God praise. The servant's eyes were open to see God's actions. When the Arameans eventually attacked, Elisha prayed with passion. God, make the Arameans blind so that all they see is darkness before their eyes. The entire Armean army was blinded by God's power. They followed Elisha straight to the king of Israel in a matter of hours. As they entered the city, Elisha prayed from afar. God, open their eyes so that they see where they are. The king of Israel wanted to defeat the Armean army, but Elisha had other plans. Send the army back to their king and get ready to prepare them a feast. They've done enough for today and should be released. Because of God's power and protection, the Arameans didn't bother Israel anymore. Remember, no matter what happens, God is fighting our battles in the midst of any war. What an incredible story. Elisha's servant Gehazi was totally freaking out, but then God opened his eyes. Our friend, Pastor Andrew, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now, so let's take a look. To see, I have to wear contacts or my glasses. If I don't, everything looks blurry to me. Kind of like this. Yeah, it's not great. But no matter how good or how bad your physical eyesight is, we also have a spiritual eyesight too. And usually, our spiritual eyes need some major help. Jesus talked about this a lot. He would be in a crowd of people and talk about how the religious leaders were being blind. And he would say to others, you see, but never know what you are seeing. And then Jesus would say that some people were blessed because they had eyes to see. Now again, Jesus wasn't saying, you all need glasses because your eyes are messed up but he was talking about their spiritual vision. They needed to see something that was impossible for them to see on their own. We have all sorts of amazing machines that help us see things that we could never see on our own. We have night vision goggles that allow people to see even when it's totally dark outside. If you had a pair of these goggles, then you would never stub your toe in the dark again. And then we have infrared goggles that allow us to see the heat coming off of something or someone. It can make you look like you're on fire or glowing these crazy colors. Isn't that awesome? We even have x-rays that allow us to see inside of a person. Think for a moment about how amazing that is, being able to see inside, whoa. So yeah, there's all sorts of these devices that help us see things that we could never see on our own. And that's what Jesus is talking about. He wants us to know that there's a way of seeing that we could never have on our own. Jesus wants us to know that there's so much more happening all around us that our normal eyes will never be able to see. And even better news, we don't have to have some type of strange goggles to help us see this way. Ever wondered just how exactly God sees things? Introducing the God Goals. This revolutionary, never before seen device allows you to see how God sees. Get yours today for the low price of $77.77. The God Goals are not guaranteed to work. Please consult your doctor before using this product. They cause skin irritation, hot off fingers, sudden and complete pizza face, memory loss, bees knees, uncontrollable dance breaks, and ability to dance. Temporary tooth loss or blindness. Order yours today! Uh, yeah, those aren't real. The only way we're able to see this way is by God opening our spiritual eyes to see more of what God sees. Think of your heart as having eyes, and those eyes are dark. 
no light is getting through, and then God sends light to the eyes of your heart, and your heart begins to see. That's the start of the eyes of your heart being opened, to see what Jesus has done for you. And after you see this, you know this, then we can pray that God continues to open the eyes of our hearts to see this life more of the way that he sees it. And it allows our trust in him to grow so that every day I can trust Jesus. Pastor Andrew talked about how there's so much more happening all around us that our normal eyes will never be able to see. But even though your natural eyes can't see God, we know that he is close to us. So that's it for this week. And thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Stop. Don't scoot off just yet. I have a Bible verse to share with you. Listen to what God says in the Bible. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear. I will help you. Now I'll say little parts and you can repeat them after me. You ready? Okay. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. <laughs> Thanks for saying that with me. In the Bible story, Elisha's servant could be brave because God was there to help. And we can trust God right now because he's here to help us. We can be brave too. I had a great time having church with you. I'm gonna leave you with some questions to talk about with your family. When they pop up on the screen, pause the video and have a little chat. See you later. Wow, what a great service. I hope that you enjoyed it. I sure did. And I learned so much. What an amazing story. Did you see what happened to the servant? Elisha prayed and he said, O oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see. And then the Lord opened the servant's eyes and when he looked, he could see the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah. Now, how amazing is that? God was protecting them. I have a question for you. What do your eyes do and what are they used for? Yes, that's right, our physical eyes. These ones, the ones that help us to see things that are in front of us and see things that are around us. Now today's lesson was talking about a different set of eyes. Can you remember what they were? It's all about the eyes of our heart, our spiritual eyes. Yep, spiritual eyesight. This is pretty cool. Jesus said that people were blessed because they had eyes to see. Now Jesus was talking about spiritual vision, the eyes of our heart. They allow us to see something that is impossible to see on our own. Think back to the x-ray. I certainly can't see someone's bones on my own with my normal eyes. This helps us to understand better. God wants us to know that there is a way of seeing things that we could never have on our own. There is so much more happening around us that our normal eyes will never be able to see. And guess what? You don't need special goggles to see in this way. We just need to ask God to open our spiritual eyes, open the eyes of our heart. So our heart has eyes that can be open or closed. So make sure you ask God to open the eyes of your heart, put God in the centre of your heart and choose to see the world in the way that God sees it. What a great lesson. So it's nearly time for us to go. Before we do, let's check out today's memory verse one last time. Why don't you say it with me? The Lord your God says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13. Well done everyone, you got it. The servant could be brave because God was there to help. The God's army could be seen through spiritual eyes. Now we can be brave today too because God is with us and is always helping us. What a great memory verse. Remember to read it again, write it down and memorise it. Now sadly that is all we've got time for today. Why don't you spend some time discussing the questions that you saw at the end of the programme and then pray together as a family. What a great way to finish. So I hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you again next week. Bye.